Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We hope everybody's enjoying their Labor Day weekend. And uh, right off the bat, Tina and I would like to extend our thoughts and prayers to those in the path of Hurricane Dorian. We hope that everybody will stay safe. Our absolute best wishes are with you. Please, uh, please do whatever you need to do to stay safe. And uh, if you can get away out of the path of the storm, then uh, please do. It's, uh, it's not worth riding them out. Tina and I lived a long time in North Carolina been through many 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 hurricanes uh, we sat in the dead center of hurricane fran and that's about as bad as it gets and this one's even worse guys so we wish everybody in dorian's path the absolute best please get out of its path but uh guys we got a little treat for you we've got our uh, granddaughter adeline is here and uh, our daughter shauna brought her up and uh we're gonna have a we're gonna have her help us with the introductions here we're gonna go in and get her you guys know her as the boop girl at the end of the video she ends all of our videos but she is almost five years old now and we thought maybe you might enjoy seeing her as she's grown up a little bit so i'm gonna go in the house and get her she's gonna help me do the intros for the video and i hope you guys enjoy it boop 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 right so welcome to bumblebee junction we're gonna make a video today. We're gonna make a video today. And you get to watch. You get to watch. All right, hang on, talk to the break. Hang on, talk to the break. Hang on, talk to the break, and we're gonna make a video. We're gonna make a video. All right, bye. Wave bye. Bye. All right. Welcome back. Welcome back. We're gonna make tomato sauce. We're gonna make tomato sauce. And we're gonna show you how to make it. We're gonna show you how to make it. So hang on, we'll show you how to make tomato sauce. How do you make tomato sauce? Close enough, baby. Let's wave to them. Hey guys, we're gonna do a little bit of setting up here. We're getting ready to do the tomato pressing. We we'll get Tina to come over here and tell us a little bit. She's got her a new tomato press this year. It is, I believe, a half a horsepower, a third of a horsepower electric engine. And uh, how do you say that in whatever language that is? Tomaten Pressa. Tomaten Pressa? It's, it's German. It's German for tomato press, but it's actually an Italian press. We got it from Italy. So. Here, we turn it on? Turn it on, yeah. It's not real noisy. Not bad. Not terrible here. We'll look down the street. But guys, we're gonna go ahead and get set up. Tina, how many how many gallons of tomatoes do we have to do? Um, let's see. There's eight fresh ones. Eight fresh ones. Here, look in the top of our refrigerator. How oh, many? there's more down there too. Oh, more down there in the bottom. You guys get to see inside our refrigerator. But we have a freezer full or two downstairs. Yeah, there's 12 gallons and 18 quarts. 12 gallons. Plus 18 quarts, yeah. plus what's in the fridge here? Yeah, and there's at least at least eight gallons. 16 gallons, 16 and a half gallons, plus eight more. That's what, 24, 24, 25, somewhere in the neighborhood of 25 gallons of chopped tomatoes that are ready to process. So, but not to worry, this thing will chew through them. I'm going to show you that. You'll enjoy it, I hope. But uh, just wanted to show you we're setting up to do a little videoing. And I thought I'd show you what it looks like when we get and start dragging stuff out and setting it around. All right, guys, we're getting ready to start here. And uh, this is just what we had up here in the freezer. This is what we had on our kitchen table and what Tina picked this morning. This has nothing to do with all the tomatoes, about three pickings that are downstairs in the freezer. But this is what we're going to start with. So let us, uh, this is a new machine for us. We, uh, we know it's uh, set up to do a good job, but let us uh, run a few, and get used to it, and then we'll bring you back and show you how it works. All right, guys, we're going to jump back in here. We've run about two bags through it, and that's uh, two gallons of tomatoes. So we wanted to give you a look at the, the output of the skins and the seeds. It looks fairly dry. We're okay with that. We'll get in here and get a real good look at this sauce. The quality of the sauce looks fantastic. 
that's what we were hoping for. You kind of get what you pay for sometimes. And we invested a little bit in this uh, tomato press. Doesn't seem to be clogging up. Um, we did run over it with the spoon a couple of times to clear the holes out, but not a big deal. To show you the quality of this sauce looks pretty good. We are going to continue to boil it on down before we can it, but so far we're real happy with it. So we'll run a little bit more. We'll jump back in here and we'll tell you what we think when we get a little further along. All right, guys. We've run through a few more gallons since you saw us last. But we're getting ready to dump this pan over into our big pan. And I uh, wanted to show you one of the things between rounds so it doesn't drip all over the table. It's nice that the chute tips up and it's got a back in it so it doesn't spill anything. But we can tip the chute up and then Tina and I can take it over there and dump it in the big pan. But she's been loading up the tomatoes. I've been stuffing them down the throat. She keeps the chute moving and... Uh, We've just been uh, working our way through them. So, guys, we're, we still got quite a few that just of the fresh tomatoes, and then we're going to start bringing the frozen ones up. But that's probably when I'll bring you back is when we get through these last one, two, three, four, five. Last five gallons or so, and then we'll start bringing the frozen ones up. All right, guys, we're going to bring you back in here for a little bit of YouTube video honesty. While the, while the tomato press here really enjoys fresh tomatoes, it is not quite so fond of frozen tomatoes. The frozen tomatoes, when they're frozen, they break down a little bit. And you know, I don't know if you can see, but they've got water in the bags. The cell membranes break down when they're frozen and then rethawed. And the extra water is uh, giving us trouble with the canner. So what we're having to do is open the bags here in the sink, run them through the strainer, and then bring them over here put them in the bucket and then slow feeding them in and it's been a really kind of tiresome project process so it's going to go slow we're going to work our way through it let's see we'll bring you over here show you how much we got so far we have filled a water bath canner to the rim and there's our big pot over there it's about half full but uh, we're going to fill several pots before this is over so it's just going to take us some time say hi to everybody T. Show them the look of frustration and <laughs> <laughs> yeah. guys we're gonna get there it's just gonna take us a little bit so let's work our way through it we'll come back and give you a little update here in just a few minutes all right guys several hours have transpired since you were with us just two seconds ago show you here it's 11 19 at night <laughs> so what we're doing is we have boiled here's the big pan we have boiled that down several times um, we move the tomato sauce into here and to get it hot before we even add it to this so it doesn't cool it down we want that big surface area just boiling off as much as we can so we keep boiling it down we heat it up over here of the let's see I think we had six pans full of sauce of which we have three left and uh, this one here is still cold and it's only about three quarters of a pan two thirds of a pan but uh, as this one gets hotter, we'll add to it from there, and then it'll gradually, all of the sauce will eventually make its way into this pan over here. So, guys, we're probably going to end up breaking this into two movies. We're going to wrap this up for this video, and uh, we'll, make, we'll leave this stand as a video about how we process our tomatoes. If you have any questions about it, let us know. But I'll put an ending on this one. And then we'll pick this back up when we go to canning tomato sauce. And we'll do that as part two of the video. So we appreciate you guys sticking around. We hope you'll check out part two of the video. And I'll be right back to uh, talk to you for a second. All right, guys. Here you go. Here's a little bonus clip here. It is 4.13 in the morning. We have got all of the sauce down to one pot. The other pots are empty and over here waiting to be washed. But we are down to one pot. You can see it is getting thicker and thicker. But we'll hold, hold this at a boil until we get it down to the thickness we want now. We'll probably boil some more off of it. I'm not sure how far down we'll go. But we'll boil some off of it. And then in the next video, we'll catch you guys canning it.
All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. Okay, guys. That's it. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. All right, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. If you like the video, put your thumbs up. And leave us a comment. Leave us a comment. And subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. And have a nice day. Have a nice day. We'll catch you in the next one, guys.